Hi everyone, I am hopeful that all you will be fine. In today's session, we will learn how we can actually integrate the Zoom Web SDK within a React.js, okay, within a React.js component. Okay, so for that, I have already created a meeting SDK app on a market trust at Zoom.us, okay, where from we can get the SDK key and SDK secret. So for the first step, we need to create a React app. So for that, I just need to navigate to the terminal and here we need to type npx create react app uh, we name it zoom web sdk hit enter and we will wait for a few seconds until the app will be created app is successfully created now just we can open vs code and we are directly on a web sdk folder inside that we first need to install the packages okay so first we need to install the web sdk package by typing npm i at zoom us slash web sdk okay and we also need to install the router package the react router package called react router dome need to hit enter and both packages are installed successfully we need to navigate to the source folder Inside there, we need to create a component called meeting.js. Okay. And we need to import the SDK by typing import zoom mtj. And then we need to create the component. Here we say const meeting and we need to pass the parameter called payload. Okay. And we need to for now returns a simple h1 tag okay the meeting will be here okay and we need to export so we say export default meeting okay need to save this and inside the index.js we need to import that meeting component so we say import meeting and we need to first create a router before that we first need to import few packages regarding the router called create browser router and also we need to import the router provider okay and now we need to create the router first so we say router create browser router we need to pass the collection and we say the path default path will be on an app component okay here we say element will be app okay and then we need to set the path for meeting okay so here we say path meeting and set element called meeting okay save this and here we need to set the router so here we say router provider and we need to set the router by passing router and need to save and we just need to start the app first so we can see that all the things are working fine till now. So server is starting, it is building, okay. So it is successfully, you can see, we have successfully started the app, but you can see here on the default page, we have a created a meeting component, okay. But on the app component, the SDK is also loading. You can see here SDK is loading on this page. So we can fix that by, the changing the import logic of a pastry game. how we can do i will show you okay so for that we first need to change the import logic we first need to remove the import from here and we first need to import react and we use use effect and we also use fragment okay and from react now we need to use that use effect so we say async and we need to pass the empty collection and now here we can import the sdk okay so that we on loading of that component sdk will be loaded not not on every component okay so we say a const and we need to pass zoom mtj and we say await and import and import zoom web sdk and save this okay now just navigate to check okay so reload this and now you can see on the default component it is loading by default ape 
and when you navigate the meeting at that time the stk will be loaded on this thing there this component meeting component okay now we just configure this web stk by calling zoom mtj and we say here pet zoom js lib and we need to set the path by setting source dot zoom dot us slash lib and we also set the av audio video and we also need to call the preload web assembly and we also need to call prepare web stk so we say prepare web stk okay and then we need to generate the signature by using this web stk okay it is officially recommended that you can generate the signatures on your server side to keep the stk secret secure okay for that reason you must be create or uh, generate signatures on your server side and if you have a no idea how we can generate that then just please watch my previous video regarding the web stk integration how i created a api endpoint on a server side and i generated the signature okay and if if still you have any problem then just share your queries uh, via the video comment section okay so here we can say zoom mtj dot generate signature okay inside that we need to pass the object and here we say meeting number we get the meeting number from the payload and we also need to pass the role and we also get the role from the payload so we say payload dot role we also need to pass the stk key we also get that from the payload we need to pass a secret okay so we get the secret from payload so we say stk secret okay and i think all sorted and then we need to find the success handler inside that we need to pass the parameter is a signature and we define the definition also we need to bind the error so we say function error and here we need to define the definition of that okay here we just log the error and inside the success we need to initialize the stk so we initialize the stk by calling zoom mtj dot init function and inside that we need to set the leave url and we will get the leave url from the payload so we say leave url will be payload url uh, payload dot leave url inside that in it you can also configure multiple options for enabling or disabling the joining and hosting web stk functionalities like enabling or disabling the chat video and all the features okay and then we need to bind the success okay you can see here there are a lot of functions you can say it or configure but i'm i am not describing all those here okay because we are keep focusing on actually integrating the stk okay so success function we say data and we also need to bind the error function error and we need to log console.log and we say error okay and here inside the success we need to call the join okay we will call it by uh, placing zoom mtj dot join okay and inside the join we need to pass meeting number we will get the meeting number from payload we also need to save the signature we can get the signature from actually signature dot result okay and we also need to set the username we will get the username from payload dot username okay and we also need to set the user email so we also get that from payload dot user email okay and we also need the password we get that from payload dot password and we also need to set token and inside the token we just need to pass an empty string inside this token if the meeting is a uh, registration enabled then you can generate the registration token first and then set the token here and participant or attendee will be able to join or host the meeting okay so and and if you have no idea how we can actually generate that uh, registration tokens and uh, configure this that token inside the web sdk then you can also watch my previous session regarding stk where i have already created a form where from we can uh, getting the user data and sending to the our server side api endpoint and we are generating or adding the registrant inside the meeting and then we are getting the this uh, registration token then we are configuring the registration token inside the join and uh, join on the session okay and 
then we need to save the success and error uh, and less callback sorry okay so here we say error function error say console.log error okay and here we say console.log right okay save this and i think we have all sorted let me recheck meeting signature username user email password i think all the things are there okay now let's build the payload i'm just building that payload directly inside the index.js i'm creating a simple javascript object but that pay payload will be you can get that payload from server side also okay i'm just building that directly inside the index index.js file so for the demonstration purpose so we say here payload inside the payload we need to set the meeting number and we will get that meeting number later we also need to get the role i'm passing zero and we also need to set the stk key we will get that from our already created meeting stk app stk secret okay we will also get that and password we will also get the password from the meeting and need the leave url you can configure whatever leave url you want i am setting a local host for 3000 okay and i think meeting role stk username we have a, a username i am setting testing inside the user email i am setting nothing okay and now just navigate to the stk app and copy the stk key paste it here and then we also need to copy the secret paste that here okay and now we just get the meeting number and just navigate to the zoom.us slash meetings and click on meeting just copy the meeting id from here uh, the meeting number paste it here copy the passcode so here is a passcode just paste it here okay save it and now i think we have all sorted but before moving forward we need to pass that payload payload is a payload okay save this now navigate to the browser and you can see we are already on site you can see here stk is already loaded just we need to navigate to the meeting you can see uh, stk is loading but before that we need to remove this thing and we simply pass fragment now just refresh and you can see we are inside the join meeting page just click on join and you are see here we have uh, some invalid parameter let's inspect that what is the invalid parameter we have passed so we can see api key stk key oh so we have a missed that stk key here i was thinking that something is i missing so stk key so we can also get the stk key from payload save it now just already reloaded join and you can see meeting is not started so let's start the meeting first we start that from here and launch click join from browser and now just reload the page and join okay you can see we have successfully joined and you can see there is some styling issues on this stk defaultically loading okay okay for that we need to import the web stk styling by placing the link tags and we say type and we say uh, text css and we say there will be style sheet okay and we need to set the href 
and we set the path so it will be source dot zoom dot us slash and here you need to set the version number current version number is 290 then css and bootstrap dot css okay and then you also need to set in other styling called type text css rel will be style sheet style sheet and href will be https source dot zoom dot us slash two point nine point oh the current version css react select okay not cs and just save this now reload the page once again and you can see we have already button is styled just join Save this. Need to reload. Join. And now you can see all the things are styled properly. Okay. And and you can also customize this container also we will uh, build a, another session regarding the customization how we can actually customize this component to resize our each and everything regarding the styling okay we will build another session currently and we can also build another session regarding the zoom web sdk embed which is a new feature where from we have a functionality regarding the drag and drop for the meeting components directly inside the uh, inside the react chase okay so I'm hopeful that you have enjoyed the session. If you have any query regarding this session, then just please place your queries inside the video comment section. Either you can share your queries and suggestions via my share contact details. Take care. Bye-bye.